use all this stuff. That's just like, wow, I upgrade your plane. Normally, uh, you don't have the bomb secondary from the plane, which I don't think I even used in the Hildeberg fight, because it's really not made for them. But, um, yeah, you get a second weapon for the plane from this guy. Also, Barbershop Quartet, uh, one of them is missing normally, and when you find him, he'll, they'll um, sing a song. I'm not gonna go through this whole song, but I'm gonna let it play a little bit. Grab a book and get some the song about just, um, hey, maybe stop playing the game so for a second. What are you waiting for? That's about half the song. Bum, 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 bum. Why not take a quick break? And, yeah, if you want to hear the rest, buy the game and find the fourth one for yourself. <laughs> or, you know, just watch a different stream or video on YouTube. I'm sure it's all over the place. Also, every area has shortcuts. I didn't really show off the shortcut in the first area, but this is the shortcut for the second area. Doesn't matter too much since you need to kill all five of the bosses anyway, but if you want to kill them out of order, that's what this is for. Um, okay, well, this, this is the bird fight that there's mentioned, um, I don't want to do it right now because we just did a plane section, um, let me give a visit to my most hated boss, so, or most hated boss in this area, let's say, certainly not of the whole game, um, and I believe for this I'm going to take the invincible dash, on expert, th this boss, Oh yeah, barbershop, barbershop so great. This boss on um, normal, it was a nightmare. It's whenever... So this face is easy, you just need to watch him and whenever he gets like murderous looking, you dash. Invincible dash helps because those ducks hurt if you haven't, um, if you don't hit them. Okay, phase two, this is where the fight immediately becomes a nightmare. This because my god, this is make life easier. Oh, wow, that's making a lot more of them. Never makes three at a time on um, regular. Oh no, I got hit by something at the last second. That's unfortunate because this face is also kind of a nightmare. Oh right, invincibility, that's not what I was trying to do. Oh well. Oh well, just saved my life. Oh, there's an extra horseshoe on this attack. Normally it's two. Okay, well that's good to know. This face lasts a long time, too. Okay, try parrying that. Okay, good. Final phase. This face is a bit of a nightmare, though. Wasn't expecting to make it up to the um, final phase this quickly on Expert. He seems like he's not that much harder on Expert than he normally is. Maybe that's because he's normally insane. Oh, that gives you a lot less time to dodge it. Normally he makes four of these things. Okay, there's still just four. Um, and I can go down there and deal with them, but he kind of respawns them and the train takes care of them anyway. Okay. I think I can do this. The main thing with him is he's basically a summon fight. He constantly has other things that you need to pay attention to other than his own stuff. Oh, laser as my super. Yeah, I might switch to it. 
The invincibility is kind of nice for Phase 3, though. I feel like Phase 3 is where I take most of my damage. Because uh, Phase 2, if you use the um, normal... Oh, I'm just going to Invincible because I'm going to get hit by these. Like, I feel like if you use the um, normal uh, spread shot super on Phase 3, you can do a lot of damage. Okay. Or on um, Phase 4, I guess, I mean. The, um, pot when he just turns into a giant, uh, merry-go-round or whatever. What a weird boss this guy is. Also mildly horrifying. Okay. Here comes the train. And I was expecting him to be a lot harder on Expert, to be honest. He's honestly not that much harder than he normally is. There we go. Oh, okay. Damn, that's a bad score. So that's okay. Okay, yeah, that went a lot smoother than I was expecting. That was... Extra, right? Yeah, it has to be. It has a gold. Yeah? Okay. Um, now let's do this boss. How about... Uh, do I... I want charge shot for this. Instead of spread, I think. Charge shot's gonna be good for the final phase. Or maybe oh boomerang. Uh, so this fight depends a lot on. There's a bunch of different things it can throw at you, and it's gonna depend a lot on um, what throws at me and when it throws at when it throws at me. Uh, this candy corn is probably the hardest thing it can throw at me. To be honest, I hate this thing. That one's dead, and I'm also almost dead. Oops, and I, I jumped into a candy corn. I'll probably end up... Oh, okay. Candy corn again. Just throws me off a lot. Because it's... You can't really predict if it's going to cut down the middle, or if it's just going to, um... Great. Okay, you're- oh, you have an extra friend. Normally he just has the blue one. I like the silk up stopper snake. Or jawbreaker, or whatever you want to call it. It gets a little halo and flips off to jawbreaker heaven. I think this guy's always the last one. He's kind of a nightmare. I guess that's kind candy, maybe? This one, I feel, is not that bad. Oh, that's different. Uh, normally, it shoots them all at once. But yeah, this one, I feel, it gets you kind of once, and then never again. Because you don't really expect its attack, and it's kind of cheap, but once you've seen it, it's... Oh, I forgot about this one, because he almost never appears. I completely forget what he even does. I guess this is it. 
I do like that this game has kind of a good mix of bosses that are one boss that changes and um... Okay, I guess that the cupcake guy isn't there, it's the final one. It versus like... Gauntlet fights like this. Wow. Okay. Now we have one boss. I'm just gonna principle this. Ah. Oh. Okay. Right. So that final one isn't actually accurate. It always shows that you've made no progress on the final phase, regardless of how much damage you've done to it. Don't know why that does that, because I think all the other ones... I think all the other ones that we show accurately. Backyard points. What are you gonna do? Crap. Yeah, I said the candy corn was all the hardest, but I think this guy is, maybe. It's really hard to hit, while also avoiding his attacks. Nope, oh, apparently I got some damage off. We're the last one. I thought this one that's like the final one before. Oh! Thank you, Invincibility. Man, that invincibility does not last anywhere near as long as you'd think it would for a five-star thing. Oh, maybe that does show progress. I feel like it didn't normally. Because there was like one time when I felt like I did a lot of damage and it showed that I was kind of at the very start on the whole like running progress mirror. Hey, you're dead. I can reach that final phase with full health, it would help a lot. Um, I think that we've seen all the types of candy she can summon. Okay. Oh good. I'm so happy that I managed to beat the other two without taking damage, too. Okay, there. Didn't do a new invincibility because I thought I had a lot left. Uh, sorry, wasn't talking much during that phase. Can't imagine why. <laughs> oh boy. No super gear. Is that because I didn't use the super? I don't actually know what the super mirror counter is. I don't know if it's like how many times you've used super, maybe? It's very... I don't know. Invincibility isn't great, but I feel like the other two get me damaged a lot of the time. Okay, so it's new Super Mirror. Okay. And we'll move on to this one, I guess. Let's try the bird. A great slam and then some. I don't remember this one being too bad. Okay, still just three fingers on the gun. 
Oh, that's a lot faster and a lot more eggshells. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, that's different. Hmm. Let's go ahead and take the guaranteed parry axe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that attacks a lot harder. So how far have you gone in the game anyway, Toast? Did you beat it yet? Or are you still just on like World 3 or something? Okay, I need to have the timing down for those. Or just... Wow. I can't even beat this first phase now. A few guys into World 3? Okay. I feel like the B boss is the hardest in World 3 unless you have the charge shot, and then it becomes really easy. Come on, expert, who can say? Oh my god. Oh my god. Please stop. I'm not making use of this axe parry very much. Yeah, the rat's pretty easy. Um, the rat is probably the easiest one, I think. That or maybe the pirate. I feel like some of the bosses in World 3 are just easier than some of these World 2 bosses. But I guess they're more intricate. Or it could just be that I got better at the game. It's kind of hard to tell how much of it is, like, the boss is being easier and how much of it is you as a player just getting better. Oh, right, you do this now. This phase isn't bad. This phase is, in fact, significantly easier than the nonsense that was last phase. I think it's because there's already so many feathers in this phase normally that... I think they just made them come faster. They also seem to be angling them a bit with a bit more variety. Okay, now for this. How are they gonna make this harder? Oh, he moves a lot faster. Okay. He's not normally that fast. I think there might also be one more egg. But not entirely certain. I'd like to get to the final phase. Just so that I know what to expect of it. Okay, this is a phase for bombs, the final one here. No, oh, never saw him shoot that heart thing before. I feel like I might be getting a bit lag from streaming. <laughs> because that is easier than I remember it being. <laughs> and possibly a bit slower. Okay. Oh there, the bird was a lot easier than Hildeberg. <laughs> it gave me less trouble than she did on regular too. That bird fight is pretty much made for like, hey, we gave you these bombs, how about you use them? Um... So yeah, I'm actually going through Expert faster than I was expecting to. Uh, let's see, this is another plane fight. I kind of want to vary it up a bit though. don't want to do that many plane fights in a row. Uh... So, depending on how well this goes, I might decide to say screw it and do a plane fight. Uh, now this one is one where I think I'm going to take roundabout and lob. I didn't have roundabout for this last time, uh, when I first did it. I really wish I did.
It's a dragon. Yeah. I don't know how strong Roundabout actually is. Not so far, this is nice. Isn't really that different from normal. Actually, I'm not sure if it's different so far. There, if anything, there seem to be more clouds. That's a bit faster. Oh, that was me being dumb. Okay, so not having a normal attack for this first phase kind of sucks. I might get rid of Roundabout after all. Uh, this phase is a nightmare. This is the hardest phase of the fight. Just because it's really hard to predict how they're going to jump. Oh, is it scrolling backward? Is it not scrolling the way it normally does? I'm gonna use my normal shot here. Yeah, that's too normal. A great slam and then stop. Here goes. Oh yeah, I guess it normally doesn't scroll towards him, does it? Okay. I completely didn't catch that. It kind of feels like it makes the fight a bit easier, though. But I suppose it'll vary a bit between the phases. The fact that I'm getting hit on that first phase worries me a bit though, um, because that first phase is not difficult. Screw you so much fireballs. So, the clouds scrolling this way makes this phase a lot more manageable. <laughs> Um, because normally trying to deal with them and get hits in on the dragon is really tough. I'm also going to stick to mob because if you hit those um, fire bubbles, they um, spew lightning forth if you hit them, but mob moves really slowly, so it's hard to accidentally hit them. Wow, that was, in fact, significantly easier on Expert due to the way the clouds are scrolling. <laughs> okay. Wow. C+. Plus. Because I didn't even bother using my super, I killed the boss so quickly. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm flying through Worlds 1 and 2. I guess World 3 is a lot harder. Let's do a plane. Also helps I have a bunch of weapons at my disposal, whereas the first time around I really had to kind of pick and choose. This thing I dodged for the longest time because I thought it was an attack. Oh, that is a lot more. That is significantly more than what normally comes out of this. Will you stop? No, it's just gonna keep going? Okay. This is gonna be a nightmare. Uh, let's see. Oh, so far. No? Okay. I think that they might be a bit tighter together than they normally are, but this doesn't seem that bad. Um, then again, this is still the easy part of the fight. Okay, this phase has these change bombs. I don't remember these super fast mummies. Though, then again, normally it's 
this phase. Really the only thing difficult about this phase if you use the bombs is the like weird eyeball satellites that he shoots. Otherwise, you can kind of just trivialize it like that. Uh, this, this is the part where things are going to go poorly, which is why I've been saving my super up for. Wait as long as I can. That's, wow, now I immediately got hit and I don't think I managed any damage. Great. Please die, please die. Oh, it was right at the phase change too. A great time and then some. You're up. Okay, it seems like normal shots the way to go on this initial one. Oh good, the daggers on expert. That's a lot. That's a lot of daggers. Okay, it doesn't last that long though. That treasure chest phase lasts a million years. Look how weird this phase is. Also really like the kind of crappy 3D uh, background on this fight. It's like really, really early. Yep, those are still the only hard part of that phase. They're very obnoxious when they decide to be obnoxious, but the rest of that phase is completely trivialized as long as you use the um, bombs. Okay. What hit me? Oh, you know what? I think that the hand is still up there. Oh, wait, no, it's shooting like little side lasers. I didn't notice that. It's shooting like little yellow side lasers. I don't think he normally does that. Okay. This again. There's also a cat one to do. And the cat one is probably the worst of the lot. So I'm glad he's not doing that. At least not yet. Okay, so far so good. That's kind of rough positioning. Okay. I think this is gonna go okay. Gotta use that for the speed boost. Watch I'll die on this face somehow. I'll be really upset with myself if I die on this phase. Like, it has a fair amount of health, but it's really not a hard phase. I was not expecting to save this guy as the final boss in this world, but I guess that's how it worked out. That's not good either. I should have just used the rocket. Here's a real high class battle. And begin. Are the little yellow side lasers always there? I don't think I ever got hit by them. Oh, good. Can't stop. Good. I don't know if this phase has a health bar. Like, I don't know if each time you hit a phase it takes off part of his health and hitting two faces on a pillar um, takes off more. 
Well, we might be dying before we even reach the marionette phase. Yep. Wow, I'm just doing progressively worse. That's the first time I've ever died on that phase. So my goal for tonight is to just beat World 2. I'll show off a little bit of World 3 on Expert, but I was mostly just aiming to beat World 2. And honestly, I wasn't expecting to even do that. But it looks like, unless I get stuck on this guy for a million years, I'll be able to do that. That's cool. World 3 Expert's going to just be a Nightmare Incarnate, it's probably going to take like twice as long as World 1 and 2 combined. Yeah, health seems to carry over between phases. The thing is that sometimes it's a bit hard to tell um, when, a, when a phase is actually low on health. I'm gonna just hit him now. You know what? There. Like, nothing moves quickly in that phase, but there's just a lot coming at you from a bunch of directions, and it all freaking homes, to some degree. Um... I feel... I Bosses having health bars would be nice, but you kind of get a feel for the phases. Like, this is very much a boss fight game where you, um... Like, I know I just said that sometimes it's hard to tell when a phase is almost dead, but... You get a feel for the general on the phases. Also, you see the um, boss health bar, like, meter at the end of the fight, so if you're on a phase that you haven't been to before and you die, you can be like, oh, this is a really long phase. Yeah, I mean, health bars would be nice, but I feel like this game is trying to keep the gamey elements out of it as much as possible, which is kind of why you just have that very small dry in the bottom left. I think a health bar would be a bit too game-ish. Like, where would you put it that wouldn't break the feel of playing the 1930s cartoon? Like, if you put it on the boss, that would just kill the look. If you put it, like, on top of the bomb, it would also kind of just be very visible and get in the way. So yeah, I, I kind of think that as nice as boss health bars are, and I think they made the right call not including them. Unless, what they could have done is they could have made it so that when you pause the game, you can see it. L like, if this showed the boss health bar, I think that would be nice. But on the other hand, then I feel like I'd just be pausing constantly, and that would break the flow of the action, so... I don't know. Oh, that was a miss. Please end. The thing is that the final phase is also kind of tough, too. Like, this phase is the one I have the most trouble with, but being at 1 HP on the very last phase is also kind of super bad. Especially since I don't know how they're going to change things up. Okay. Uh, I should have been on the other side of it. I kind of realized it when I was already way too far away from um, being able to cross it safely. Oops. Um, yeah, I will say that Pyramid Attack is another attack that kind of is cheap the first time you see it, because like there's no way... Like, like, you can tell the pyramids are gonna do something, especially when the eye opens, but like... 
having a cross-shaped laser that just kind of shoves you across the screen is not something you would expect them to do. Um, but I feel like a boss fight game like this, where the whole game is based around like two minute boss fights, it's allowed to have attacks that kind of catch you off guard the first time you see them. Because the idea is that you're probably going to be fighting bosses a lot. Like, if this was at the end of, like, a five-minute level, let's say, it would be bad to have attacks like that. But it's okay when it's just the boss on zone. Let's try not getting hit during this phase. It's an easy phase. Should be almost dead. Good. Good for you. Now, so we don't need to worry about dealing that much damage later. I like that even the hand still takes damage. Okay. Missed the parry, but whatever. Oh, good. Now I've gone for that parry. Oh, I might be able to get my super going for this phase. Oh, you can't actually do that. I think here. Oh, right. I need to actually dodge these attacks too. Of course. It's not just the pyramids. I became a bit too focused on dodging the pyramids. Okay, here. Good. Okay. That's the last boss of World 2 on Expert. Garbage! That's what B. B plus. Okay. So let's do a little. Let me make sure that was World 2, everything. Yep. Let's see, I'll, I'll do the running guns. Again, uh, I mostly want to show off the bosses, so I'm going to just do each of these running guns once. If I fail it, I fail it. Is my second weapon? Oh, lob. That's not going to be good for this one, I think. Also, that's just Kamek there. I like how this game kind of does reference other games, but doesn't do it in a very blatant way. It's like, oh, I know that attack. Um, like, it's really clever about putting it with, putting its own spin on its references. This is a bit easier when I don't need to get the coins. Also, when this thing doesn't have changing difficulties. So this is just easy. This is just like standard default difficulty, no matter what. Not bothering with parries. Ow. That was an unfortunate hit near the. Not quite the end of this level, but getting there. There's normally a coin down there, which is why that obnoxious red clown is kind of otherwise pointless. Oh no, right, there's still a bit to go. I forgot about the final bit. Um, this. This nonsense sucks. <laughs> and if I die here, I'm absolutely not redoing this level. We'll move on to the other running gun. Come to think of it, I did all this with one health the first time around, too. It was just as nerve-wracking as it is now. <laughs> Stop. The thing about this is, like, you get to the end where it's like, Oh, snacks! A and then you get the end, and it's like, Oh god, it's gonna spell out another word. Okay. 
snacks and treats. It's a hot dog. Screw you, hot dog. Okay, that was easier than I remembered it. <laughs> Still a bit scary. Skill level one, what? But I can't adjust the skill level on this. That was odd. Hmm. Alright, wait. Let's see the funhouse frazzle. Uh, this one took me a few tries. Yeah. And by that I mean like a whole lot of tries. It's not really a long level. This one's actually... I feel like both of the World 2 levels are kind of short compared to the World 1 levels, but maybe they just seem that way. There's just kind of a lot to keep track of on this level. This part's really easy, though. We got some, um... Say the other level had, um... Kamek as a wizard. This one has, uh... Bowser airship cannons as stars. Oh boy. have that much trouble on this part. I still didn't get hit. So let's run past that. This part is just you gotta stay up top to dodge his attacks. Like these weird like kinda 3D eyeball spinning things. They're complete nonsense. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but I like them. They look like jumping jacks almost, except they have eyeballs. And I know that I can be parrying the purple ones, or the pink ones, but it's kind of really hard to get parry off on them while dodging him. Also, my parry timing sucks when I'm upside down. Very much. No, oh, it never did that before. This is pretty much the same as the first one. There we go. Okay, man. Uh, I guess that's either muscle memory or just me being a lot better at this game since the first time I played it. Because, boy. Did that take a lot more than one try the first time around? Okay, that's World 2. Let's see, I've been going for not quite two hours. Uh, this is the hardest boss in World 3 as far as I'm concerned. What do you have to say? Same thing as always, I'm sure. Yep. Let's do this first. Uh, the lob is useless here. Spread's really good for the final phase of this fight. I'll give myself smoke bomb. That's pretty useful here. I'm not sure if this guy's the easiest boss in this- well, no, the rat's probably the easiest boss. Uh, this guy's not too bad, though. I love the eyes this thing makes when it's- when it misses you. It's just like, oh well, it's gonna be losing on over to the corner. All innocent. Oh, you're faster. Oh, 
Oh wow, I'm on phase three already? What? I'm on phase three. Oh god. I wonder if they changed the um phase transition. Oh, they absolutely changed the phase transitions. Uh just just to test that. Let's see, I'm gonna enter on regular and just this die to see where the um goalpost signs are, whatever you wanna call them. Little phase transition markers. Yeah, look at that. Look at that crap. <laughs> it's like, wow, I'm going through these phases really fast. That's odd. <laughs> okay. Um, this guy's no longer the easiest fight in this area because phase three sucks. And almost the whole fight is in phase three now. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I need to get over here. Go away, Shark. Okay, that's gonna be the dogfish. Okay, this guy, these don't actually hurt, but they just make the screen darker, which actually kind of sucks for the cannonballs. This boat sucks. So the whole fight, pretty much, is this phase now. And it's also way faster than it already normally is. So that's gonna be the shark. Go away. I don't even know how phase four has changed. I'm sure they mixed it up a bit too. Oh crap. How close was I? Mm, pretty close. Good game for us. Invincible Dash definitely helps a lot here, though. Just because there's a lot of things that you'd want to kind of dash through. Oops, I managed to completely dodge the parry bullets. Okay, phase two. I should stop wasting supercharge on the easy phases. I think it's just out of habit because I'm used to them lasting longer. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to. Yep. Okay. Please stop. Please enter your next phase. No? Still? I can't see at all. Wow, I've never gotten hit by that much. Oh, I was in the next phase. It was just not... It just hadn't transitioned over. This is another one that I remember them showing off in the trailers. 
There's also a bat boss that just doesn't seem to be in the game at all now. I wonder when they decide to cut that one. That, or maybe it's like something that shows up only in Expert? Oh boy. Please stop. Okay. Well, we're definitely in Phase 3 land. This is the screen being dead. Ah! Oh. Not quite. I'm gonna give this fight, like, one more shot after this. And then we'll move on to a different fight for the night. And then I'll probably be calling game around the two hour mark. And then screaming this again at some point. I would like to show off this whole game on Expert, because Expert mode seems pretty insane. Yes, it's dogfish. I'm sorry, no catfish for you. Just dogfish. Okay, still phase two. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I guess catfish are fresh water, aren't they? Nope. Oh god, there's so much going on. There's so much going on. <laughs> A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. And phase one is so easy. Like, the thing with, um, the regular mode version of this fight is, like, Phase 1 goes on for a very long time. And then Phase 3 is just kind of like the grand finale bit before the kind of come out of nowhere fourth phase, which isn't really that bad. And then this time around they're like, no, the whole fight is Phase 3. 1 and 2 are the warm-up for Phase 3. This. Nope. This time it. Okay. Shark is definitely the biggest issue in this phase just because it shoves you right next to the boat. Like, the shark is not an issue at all in the other phases, but in this phase it's really bad specifically because of the boat. You again. God, I thought that. How much damage did I do? Really? Maybe I'll try the charge shot. <sighs> I really want that for the boss. Also, maybe I'll go ahead and take energy beam. Uh, but yeah, let's try charge shot. I feel like this is a mistake, but we'll see. The thing is that, like, dodging breaks a charge shot really easily. Charge shot does so much damage. We are already in phase two. We are already in phase three. Okay, the charge shot's damage on this guy is disgusting. There we go. That's that super. Okay, it's the shark again. Oh, wow, is the charge shot the way to go? Oh, that's a lot faster than normal. Okay. 
Well, you're supposed to is you're supposed to jump on top of that because it's pink and then keep bouncing while dodging the tree. But it's easier to just not. There we go. Okay, that made life so much easier. Yeah, charge shot is stupidly strong. L like, it's a charge, I get that it's hard to pull off, but man. Yeah, we're not doing that damage free, Sandball. Don't even joke about that. <laughs> we are not getting a good ranking in any of these expert mode fights. Uh, so also... Also, I'm gonna talk to this guy, because this guy apparently has a secret. So, apparently if you're a pacifist, you can go into black and white. I don't know if that means, he says pacifist platformer, so maybe if you do the running guns without killing anything? Uh, so this is a plane. There's all this stuff. Uh, this... This is also one of the harder fights in this area, so I'm gonna try it, but I'm probably gonna call it stream soon, so I just want to show it off on Expert. A real no, I'm not playing the Zeke ever. Goes. You're welcome to- oh, she's a lot faster than usual. Holy crap, she's a lot faster than usual. She's mimicking some sort of- oh, yeah, she's mimicking some of the characters from, um... Dive Kick. There's a character from Dive Kick that has that exact attack. I do not remember who it is. I'm pretty sure it's Dive Kick. Or maybe it's a different fighting game. Oh, I'm on phase two. Thank you, Charge Shot. The asbestos safety curve. Screw you, child. I'd love- yes, I get to show off the next phase. Um, so, so welcome to the Kafka phase. <laughs> It has little attack names in the upper left, too. Okay, final phase. I wasn't expecting to do this well, but hey, charge shot. I don't trust this to go well. So this phase- yeah, I died. I- I almost had it. That fun. I'll give it one more shot. Oh, the um, flying kicks are dousing? Okay. Oh, that's bad. I'm having a lot of trouble getting this charge shot off. Okay, phase two. Mm, I feel like this phase is really hard to get out of without taking up some damage, just because the things to worry about, like all the stuff on the stage starts really piling up. I think these rats are also completely invincible. Apparently seem it. Oops. I'm killed by a fan. A brawl is surely brewing. Now go!
this charge shot makes life so much easier. It really is probably the best weapon for a lot of these fights. Okay. Just because these fights last, like, you saw with the pirate guy, like, the phases last so much longer with everything other than the charge shot. Like, I love the charge shot, but I do wonder if they might nerf it a little bit. Just because it's so strong. And it's not that hard to get off. Like, some bosses it's really bad for, but the vast majority of bosses is just so good. The final phase of this fight is really easy. And it's really short too, I just got careless with it and didn't see the rows. Not sure how to dodge that without the invincible dash. Oh no, I was jumping up to do the super and I got hit by Rose. That sucks, I think if I got the super off it would have killed her too. Uh, the one downside to the charge shot is that it's, um, special. Kind of really sucks. It's a close range blast and it doesn't seem to do that much more damage than the charge shot itself, to be honest. It's a really tough thing to even hit with. Like, uh, I feel like, um, also the spread shot can function as a close range blast when it comes down to it. Uh, with its special. And that does, I think, more damage than the Charge Shot's one. It's a bit easier to pull off, because the Charge Shot one, like, appears slightly in front of you. Whereas the, um, Spread Shot is just right, um, the Spread Shot is, like, right on top of you, so you can aim it a bit better. Let's just die. No, oh, uh, I thought she was going to die by me. There we go. I'm not even using my second weapon at all. Down to 1 HP for this phase, so. Uh, can I kill a final boss with 1 HP? You're just not sure how you're supposed to dodge that normally. Like, maybe you're supposed to wait on the meteor? It might be that she always does that after the meteor, and you're supposed to use the, um, star from the meteor to dodge it. This phase isn't so bad most of the time. The fan can screw you up a lot, depending on just where she decides to throw it. Oh, we're not done? I thought that she was moving on to the next phase. Now she is. This fight's so good though. I do like this fight a lot. I like all the fights. Okay. You need to just die. Stupid baby! Okay, we're gonna do this one more time, then I'm gonna call it for the stream, I think. Live or die. Not sure the narrative for the stage follows past the second part? I mean, she, um, gets married, has a child, dies, and then ascends to godhood because she aligned the three goddess statues. It all makes sense.
Okay, I died. I like all these all these rhymes. Oh yeah, right. the most important thing. Um, the thing that lets everyone know how bad I am at this game. Uh, well, the last bit that plays over, and she's just coming back to give a um, you know, to receive all the roses and stuff to get a standing ovation or something. Like, last bit's not part of the play, that's after the play has ended. Okay, so, we're gonna end on, um, uh, the most obvious thing to end on. This kind of horrifying gentleman over here in the pond. With all your battles and all my rhymes, you have failed and, died and perished 207 times. <laughs> there we go. Uh, quite a few of those were on this stream, but... Not a lot of them. Um, a lot of them were just playing through the game on regular because um, World Three is hard. World Three is really, really hard. Um, l like there are definitely some bosses in World Three that are harder than the World Two, easier than the World Two bosses. But a lot of them are way harder. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for Cuphead for tonight. I I would like to do the rest of it on Expert on stream um, in the future. So yeah, I, I might stream this tomorrow, I'm not sure. But I'll stream it sometime soon. I want to show the whole thing off on Expert. Um, but yep, yeah, that's it for now, so thanks for watching everyone. <laughs>